Hello folks, I'm Abfielder and today I'm back with another tutorial. After a long Minecraft break, I am continuing the Inventory Profiles next series and today we're going to take a look at locked slots. First things first, we want to open the IPN config menu, which by default is R plus C. Once you've got that open, make sure you are hit on mod settings here and then just scroll down until you see lock slots. Now by default, it is enabled. I had set this to false and this will stop everything from working. So if you have problems, nothing's working, make sure this is set to true. You can also change another setting here to enable unique lock slots per world by server. This is on by default, but you can disable it so that this is the same across all your worlds and servers. Once we've done that, let's just take a quick look at the locked slots menu here. And as you can see, we got lots of options. They are all set to default. If you hover over them, they'll tell you a little bit more. So for example, this is gonna make lock slots immune to these actions. This one will stop you throwing your pickaxe in lava. And then these two are quite important. The switch config modifier is alt and the config key is left mouse button. That's useful for the next section. So if you want to change anything, just R plus C, go into lock slots and you can play about with settings in here. And we'll look at some of these a little bit more in detail further on in the video. Okay, then I am in my inventory. And if you remember the earlier video in this series for inventory management, by hitting the R key, that will automatically sort my inventory. If you don't remember, I'll put a link to the playlist in the description below. So watch what happens when I press R. That's moved everything, it's sorted my inventory, it's moved those golden carrots down to the bottom. But what about if I want those golden carrots in the top left? Maybe I always want the food in the top left hand corner and when I hit R it moves them and that's super annoying because I have to put them back. So let's just move some items here and then if you remember our key modifiers from the menu before, if we hold Alt and then left click, we have now locked that top left hand corner slot. And if we want to unlock it, we just do Alt and left click again, and then Alt and left click to lock it. This time, watch what happens when I press the sort key, which was the R button. Boom, those carrots will stay there. So if you like things like your food in exactly the same place, but you also like that sort key, which I absolutely love, this is where it comes in super handy. So I've gone ahead and grabbed some stone, and I want to show you another bit of functionality for this lock slot that's super useful. Remember my earlier video, I showed you mass crafting with this mod, and it's brilliant, by the way. If I put the stone in here and click on the stone bricks. Now, if I hold Alt and Shift and click on this, what this is going to do is craft every bit of stone up in my inventory into stone bricks. Now, if I didn't have this locked, it would do the stack already in there, that stack, and that stack. But I have locked this one. So watch what happens when I Alt, Shift, and left click. Boom. It crafted the one I put in there, the one that was down here, but this one, it has locked, so it is still stone. Now, if you're crafting lots and lots of materials for a build, that might come in super useful. Now, if you remember earlier in this video, I said there was a setting that was super useful to save your pickaxe or your sword or what have you. Now, I know these are netherite, so it doesn't really matter, but if we open up the inventory again, and this time we're gonna lock the pickaxe lock here, so Alt and then left click, and we've got the sword, which isn't locked, now watch what happens when I press the Q button. So imagine this is a diamond sword, you're standing near to lava, you press the Q button. Oh no, my sword is gone. Now let's try the same thing on our pickaxe, which is a locked slot, remember? And I press the Q button, I'm pressing it. I don't know if the microphone is picking that up, but I'm pressing it repeatedly and it is not getting chucked. That is a bit of a lifesaver because it's very, very easy to accidentally hit that Q key. So there we have it, another great use for lock slots. Next up, I want to show you another feature that I think will be really useful with these lock slots, and that's picking up items into the hotbar or your inventory. And to demonstrate this, I'm going to chuck all this stuff out. So there was some sand, some andesite, some quartz and stuff in there. And then I'm going to do R plus C to open our menu, make sure we're on the locked slots. And we're going to look at these two here, the items allowed in hotbar and pick items directly into the inventory. Okay. Now, we're going to set this to true because if you don't, this won't work. And in here, we're going to add another item. We're going to leave carry on there and we're going to do Minecraft and then we're going to do sand. Now, if you have a mod and it's got a different namespace, it would be whatever that is and then colon and whatever the item is. What this all means is when we walk over these items, assuming we have space in our inventory, it will pick the items up 
and move them into the inventory with the exception of the sand. Basically, we are only allowing sand into our hotbar. So if I run over this now, you'll see I picked everything up. You may have seen that it very quickly moved into my hotbar, but then moved it back out. And boom, we have the sand in the hotbar. That's super useful if you only want certain items in your hotbar and you want everything else to kind of go in the inventory if it can, just to keep that hotbar nice and clean. So for example, you might want to do something like if we do Minecraft, oops, can't spell, and we could do nether right sword, I think. I think that's correct. And if we chuck everything down again, uh, we'll leave the sand for now. If we chuck all that, just give it a second, make sure we can actually pick that up. So everything except the netherite sword now should go into the inventory and then boom, keeps your hotbar nice and clean. So there we have it folks, some super useful features of Lock Slots. If you need anything mentioned in this video, whether it be the IPM mod or the previous videos, I'll put links in the description below. I just want to say a big thank you to all the patrons who help keep the Abcraft server completely free to play on. For now though, folks, that's all I have time for. I'm Abfielder. Goodbye.